Hi Fernando, hi everyone. Um, my name's Alice, I live in England and I'm a post crosser, um, known as Candy Floss Curls over on Post Crossing. I joined Post Crossing in December 2020 and my only regret really is that I didn't join earlier, I didn't find it sooner. Um, I came across Post Crossing from a magazine called the Procrastination Paper that's printed here in the UK. Um, they have a different theme every month and this was July last year, July 2020, they did a snail mail issue and there was a article in there from a post crosser called Ashwin, um, all about post crossing. And yeah, I, I read this and I knew immediately that uh, this that was like for me. Um, I've bought, sent and received postcards for years. I love buying them every time I visit a new place. So um, yeah, when I read Ashwin's article, I knew it was the perfect hobby for me. Uh, it's a great way to sort of virtually explore the world, uh, especially during COVID when obviously we haven't been able to travel. Uh, my, first, my first postcard um, was this one from Finland. And this was from, I think it's Inge, and uh, unfortunately she's not on post crossing anymore, she's deactivated her account, so I think this might have been the last one of the last ones that she sent. Um, but I remember being so excited when this dropped through my, my letterbox. I have a few other hobbies, um, most of them I've developed or spent more time on over the last kind of year and a half since we've been in lockdown during the pandemic. I really like cross stitch and embroidery. And a few months ago or earlier this year, I bought a paddle board. Uh, so I've, I've been really enjoying going out on that and exploring local canals and rivers and all sorts. Um, collection wise, the only other thing that I kind of collect, it's kind of unofficial, um, but is pin badges. Um, there's a bit of reflection there, um, but uh, yeah, mostly Harry Potter ones. I also have some Disney ones. Um, this is some of my other random ones that I like, but I just kind of buy ones that I like really. Um, I display them in these shadow boxes, um, which I'm yet to put up, <laughs> uh, but some of them I have on clothing as well. My favorite postcard, uh, it's quite hard to choose. I think any postcard will quite find it quite hard to choose because um, they're all, very unique and different. Uh, each postcard brings a little bit of excitement for different reasons. Uh, but I guess if I had to pick one, because I'm being asked, um, it'll be this one I got in July. Um, this is uh, Frida Kahlo. Excuse the state of my nail polish. I haven't had a chance to take it off yet. Um, this is Frida Kahlo, one of her pieces of work uh, called The Dream. Um, I love Frida Kahlo. I went to an exhibition about her in London a few years ago and I'm just obsessed with her now. Um, and this was sent by Denise. I'm oh, just um, a bit awkward because we've got both our addresses on there. But she sent a lovely long um, message on the back, which I think is probably what makes it my favourite. Um, uh, yeah, I the reason that I like it so much is because because I love Frida um but yeah she just she just wrote this long message on the back which um yeah I love it when people put a lot of thought into what they're writing um she said that I'm always welcome in Canada which was really sweet it was actually due to move to Canada last year so that kind of makes it a little bit special but yeah I remember seeing it pop through the post box and um well, my letterbox and it immediately put a smile on my face when I saw how much she'd written. Um, and there's some really cool stamps on it as well, I'll just show you. Um, so there's an owl, um, some deer, and this really beautiful mountains as well, which is one of the things I really love about um, Canada. So, so that's probably my favorite. Um, I also got asked about Portugal, uh, what I know about Portugal and if I've ever been. Unfortunately, I haven't yet. Um, it's on my list along with everywhere else, uh, but hopefully I can visit after the pandemic. Uh, I think the only real thing I know about Portugal is some of the, the cities um, and Pastel de Nata because <laughs> they're everywhere and they are really delicious. Uh, places called 
Porto and Lisbon. I think that's about all I know. Um, but yeah, hope to visit one day. And yeah, that's that's kind of my post crossing experience really. Um, I'd tell everybody if you're interested in like writing or finding out about new places in the world or anything like that, I'd really encourage you to sign up because it's really just a great little hobby. Um, it's quite expensive in the UK. Um, it costs one pound seventy to send. Uh, a postcard at the moment and the rates go up every year and obviously you've got to pay for the postcards as well but um I don't mind spending a bit of money on it because I really enjoy it and uh enjoy walking out to my post box as well and then I keep my postcard in a postcard album uh this one at the moment um my dad bought me this for Christmas a few Christmases ago before I started post crossing um, it used to be filled with lots of empty uh, postcards, um, but now they're all full of uh, post-crossing postcards. Um, this one is actually full now, um, <laughs> so I do need another one sharp. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm starting to get a, a stack overflowing on my kitchen table at the moment. Um, but they're all in there. Yeah, and I'm just going to show you my local post box and my um letterbox as well um so i'll i'm sure fernando will edit over to those in different clips so this is my uh letterbox um so the letters just go through here it's a bit of a tough one actually <laughs> um but i recently bought this sign um during the pandemic from somebody called liz harry um I, it's just a really cute colorful little thank you um in the uk we call our our post men and women post people posties uh, so it's thank you postie and that's just a little like happy little thank you to the postie every time they put post through my letterbox and that's quite often because of post crossing and when i come down the stairs uh this is where the post comes onto the mat so i can very quickly see whether or not i've got a postcard and i get very excited when there's a postcard left there for me. But yeah, hopefully that's inspired some of you to sign up and um, happy post crossing.